<laughs> Thank you so much for that incredible introduction. Okay, I have to extend my congratulations to all the graduates today and what your accomplishment is. You know, UCI, class of 2015, zot. Okay, you know, I'm having a thought right now. I mean, I'm not sure how many of you are, you know, are t texting, Twittering, Instagramming, and uh, the reason, because I see some of you looking into your laps and smiling, so that means one thing, or maybe two, I don't know. <laughs> but seriously, congratulations not only to you, but also to your parents, who I'm sure are just so delighted that this, this day is here unless you're planning on moving back at home. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, my name is Greg Luganis, and I'm sure some of you have never heard of me, but I'm sure your parents, and now, oh my God, your grandparents, have probably heard my name a number of times through the years. I represented the United States in three Olympic Games and in the sport of diving. I did pretty well. Uh, during those years, I went to college, I worked various part-time jobs, had relationships. I learned that being flexible in every way, mind, body, and spirit, was so important. Okay, watch this. Oh my God, I did that with my cap on. I wasn't planning on that. Um, but I'm glad I wore pants today. <laughs> and I'm sure you are too. <laughs> Remember, take time to do a little exercise every day and stretch. Trust me, you'll appreciate it when you get older. Uh, for an Olympic athlete, you would think that Flexibility means to be able to move and stretch your body to its limitations in sports in all kinds of superhuman ways. And yes, that's a part of it. But it's also what the dictionary says, which is to be adjustable to change, to adapt to new environments, and the willingness to be open-minded. That's what true flexibility is, and that's what it's been for me. It's more than just a physical state. It's a mental and spiritual state as well. I've had the opportunity to travel all over the world, compete in many countries, wake up in, at the crack of dawn in many different time zones with different languages and different cultures, and many ways to look at life a little differently. I've been on a journey from being an Olympian to a political activist to a champion of hum human and animal dignity, a writer, an actor, and a husband. I came out. I'm married now, can you believe it? In the, legally in the state of California. Uh, I fought depression and anxiety, HIV infection, and countless other battles. And I fighted those battles for myself, but also when I could for other individuals. Every day, there's always a win in my pursuits. So some of them were small and quiet. Some of them were Olympic gold medals. But every day there was a win. And here's what I think I've learned. Every time I've been open to adapting to the very changing landscape of life itself, I've learned something new about myself 
and it has inspired me to push even further, to practice observation versus judgment, and assessment versus criticism. Sometimes I learn that failure is the most inspiring change of all. Sometimes I needed to be taken down from that gold medal podium. Some failures come with humility, compassion, a deeper understanding of our hum humanity, and ultimately, and most importantly, the ability to love and be loved. So here's what else I have to say. Starting tomorrow, some of you will go on vacation. Some of you will start a new job. Some of you will even continue your education. But all of these have one thing in common, and that's you. You will be there. And so will the challenges and the wins and the losses. There will be many other people from different backgrounds, religions, races, orientations, age groups, and all of these differences will test your flexibility. Will you be able to get along with everybody to accept that other people may have different opinions than your own? Of course not. But when it comes down to it, the important thing is having an open mind. If it rains on your vacation, go out and walk in it. Unless it's a hurricane, <laughs> then I suggest board games. If you lose a job or a lover or nothing is going the way that you were planning it would go. Know the universe is, is oftentimes something that's conspiring for you and that it may have something better for you in, rather than your plan. And have trust and faith in that. Unplug from your laptop and smartphone occasionally. Enjoy the moment you're in. And the love of your family, friends, and coworkers. If you disagree with someone's opinions or choices or, and a debate ensues, be respectful. But remember, too much agreement kills a chat. You just have to learn something you may learn something spectacular about that individual and also may learn something about yourself. Remember, there are seven billion people in the world. It would be awfully boring if everyone was alike. So adapt to change while maintaining peace and dignity over drama. Personally, I like to keep the drama for the stage and keep my life drama free. Out of those seven billion people out there, I hope that you find somebody that you fall in love with and that falls in love with you. Maybe it's already happened. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow, next week, or year, or month. But I found love at the age of 53, okay? So it can happen at any time. You just have to believe in yourself. And as you graduate today, I too start a new chapter of my life, refocusing my time, energy, and work into the things that I'm most passionate about. So, you can follow me on Twitter, at Greg Luganus, or Instagram is G.E. Luganus, at G.E. Luganus. Um, but that's beside the point. Um, well, irrelevant, you'll, you'll be, have to reinvent yourself and refocus and be open to that. Many times in your life, 
You may change course. You have to be flexible. You may be disappointed from time to time, not get what you want. You may get rejected, not only in love, but in other areas of your life. Just remember, rejection is God's protection and that the universe is conspiring in your favor to give you exactly what you need at that moment in time. Be open to it. All you need to do is be the best that you can be. Do what's right in front of you to the best of your ability in the moment that you're in. And then leave the results up to the universe. So many gifts are gonna come your way. As time goes by and your physical, mental, and spiritual flexibility improves with practice, because we get good at what we practice, but it will be tested again, again, and again. Ask any parent, teacher, employer, world leader. You will become parents, teachers, employers. And I just may be speaking to the future president of the United States here today. In any of these professions, be prepared to not only both see both sides of a situation, but all sides of a situation, and let the outcome be for the common good of all involved. So remember, be flexible to meet people halfway. And if you cannot, then I would suggest holding hands so you don't slap the shit out of everyone. <laughs> the final thing I want to suggest is to try not to be too judgmental of yourself and others. Everyone's judging. Hell, I'm being judged right now. But be kind. Remember, say what you mean and mean what you say, but don't say it mean. No one likes a smart ass, right? <laughs> Often, silence is the best answer. But when it isn't, use your outdoor voice. Hug your parents. Take, take advice from your elders. And listen to children. They're very insightful. We can learn so much from just observing children and our dogs, if you think about it. Watch children and dogs and be that unbound, unfettered, and unconditional in your love. They just want to play, so be sure to play. And finally, plant a tree in a park, in your home, in your parents' home. What kind of tree? A willow tree, because they're the most flexible. <laughs> I want to congratulate you and hope you have a wonderful day and have a blast. Do a handstand. And once again, <laughs> congratulations to each and every one of you. You inspire me. Thank you.